For the next four days, I will be condensing a 10-day Shakti Warrior dance course into my daily routine to answer one question. Can Shakti Warrior dance heal women? Okay, okay, you're probably wondering, Shakti who and healing what? Well, think of Shakti Warrior dance as the yoga of dance. Essentially, it's a practice that uses rhythmic breath like Kundalini yoga and movement through dance to help align the mind, body, and soul. Okay, but... What's this got to do with healing? It's supposed to help women release the blocked divine feminine energy that resides in our body, specifically in our pelvic region. Awakening this energy can apparently liberate emotional, physical, and mental blockages, leading to deep inner healing and a sense of peace and joy. Now, if you're feeling a little skeptical, I was too until I learned that Shakti Warrior Dance has helped some women overcome anxiety, repressed traumas, or even hormonal or cardiovascular disorders. Amazing, but if you're wondering, Rach, what have you got to heal? Well, for the last five years, I've struggled with having PCOS. Basically, my hormones are out of whack, and lately my brain has been throwing more mood swings my way. I said today, we're gonna be sad. Don't question me. Oh. Now, I'm not expecting any miracles here, but I am hoping this course will help me improve my general mood by reconnecting me to both my love for dance and to my divine feminine energy. So, will this actually work? Is Shakti Warrior Dance worth it? Let's find out. It's day one, I'm adequately grumpy, so let's see if this helps improve my mood in any way. So I began with doing lessons one and two, one after the other. It started off with some nice stretches, breathing, loosening up, then it got straight into some basic moves. Yes, my butt cramped in the first five minutes. Don't even ask me what I'm meant to be doing here. Anyways, let's skip to the juicy stuff. Unleashing my sacral power. Let's just say it was much more intense than I was expecting. There was a lot of fanning my inner fire, swaying with the wind, and getting confused by the technicalities. So the hit-like exercises in between were really appreciated because they allowed me to channel out my frustration quickly before moving on to some more dancing. The main thing I became aware of in these first two lessons was my resistance towards letting that sensual energy flow through my body. Maybe it had something to do with me being conscious of still getting close-up shots of my butt. Anyways, when it came to doing my third lesson, I decided to put on some gold hoops and just let go. I finally had moments where I broke through the noise in my head. I mean, I, I still had moments of pure confusion, but I could finally feel myself just dancing for the joy of it. I feel the fire! All right, day two, my legs were feeling pretty sore, but I gave it my all. Oh yeah, I quickly figured out why this lesson was called Feeling the Fire Within. I finally got a taste of those warrior moves I was anticipating, and I loved it. They whooped my ass, but as I pushed through the burn, I felt that inner critic start to quiet and my inner badass start to rise, making me feel strong and empowered. <sighs> do another lesson now. I think I might just die. Let's do it! The fifth lesson was all about letting the heart expand, and although I was tired, I found a lot of joy in this lesson. So I remember when I said day one was intense. <laughs> No, 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 this was intense. Towards the end of the first one, I was really believing in that fire. I was like, you know what? I'm a warrior. I can shoot down things. I can, I can do this. I can do this. And I made it through. So things took a turn on day three. Well, okay, it started off great with the visualizing and realizing my dreams lesson. Strong, sexy, alive. Yes, you are. I am ready to thrive. But then things went downhill from there. I'm resisting this so much. I started to feel irritated and frustrated at everything she was saying. Ah, if only my hips rolled as much as my eyes. It's safe to say I really wasn't in the mood for planting my seeds and letting my Shakti shine anymore. Ha! Yeah, no. Officially over it. Okay. I just want to take a minute to talk about this for a second. So at the beginning of the video, I mentioned how I've been struggling with my hormones being out of whack lately. And this is a prime example of what I mean. One minute I'm feeling happy and excited. And the next I feel like I've slammed straight into an emotional wall of frustration and confusion with no idea where it came from or how to get around it. So if you ever feel crazy because of your emotional ups and downs, just know that you are not alone. I didn't know it at the time, but at the end of the four days, I was about to have the biggest emotional overwhelm I've had in years and well I'll let you watch for yourself 
Unfortunately, my mood didn't improve for the last day. Turns out I was PMSing hardcore. It didn't help that my hip muscles were completely seizing up from being overworked. Woman down, woman down. The divine feminine energy has struck. My hips are so tight. I get why this is a 10 day course and not a four day course. So I didn't exactly turn into the snake goddess I was hoping to, but I decided to stop fighting myself at the end and just listen to what the kind lady was saying. Get out of your own way. Honor the flow. Feel the power. You've got this. Breathe. Hi, so it's been four days since I finished the course and let me tell you, it has been one heck of a soul ride. So first things first, did my divine feminine energy get unblocked? Yes. Well, at least some of it has. It definitely didn't happen the way I imagined in my head. It wasn't a beautiful blossoming flower of feminine power, but rather a raging volcano of angst and shame that just exploded within me. The day after this course, I spent the whole day in bed with my friends Sad Sally and Angry Angela. I can always rely on them to make me feel positively crazy. But after that day, I do feel like I've had a bit of this weight lifted off me and it was a big reminder to me that transformation and growth isn't always pretty. Sometimes we resurface parts of us that have been suppressed for a while. And although they can be difficult to deal with, we need to acknowledge them and let that energy flow out of us to feel better. So, the big question, is Shakti Warrior Dance worth trying? In terms of value, I rate this a 9 out of 10 because for $15, it was a steal. It was a great workout, I learned different dance techniques, and my mood has genuinely improved since I've released that blocked energy. Now, in terms of fun, I would give this a 7 out of 10. I love the dancing and workout aspect, but I can't lie and say the emotional release that followed was fun. But overall, yes, 100% worth it. It was much more intense than I was expecting, so please learn from my mistake and do not attempt this in four days. If there are any of you out there who also struggle with PCOS and just want to talk about it, shoot me a message on Instagram. I would love to connect. And with that said, we will see you in the next episode. And don't forget, dare to be a fierce Shakti warrior.